handicap wise, 20. Say 22. 22? Yeah. So that's my, that's my bad job. If you twist to the target, keep twisting your body, turn your chest, look at that. Soften this arm yeah. up so it comes across your chest, so keep turning your chest into your arm, that's it. Yeah. Oh, what a shot oh, yeah, that is. Me, man. And this is rotating, but we're moving the body in space. It's rotating, we're just moving it in space. Shot. What a shot. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, we don't see better 7 eyes, do we? <laughs> George, Certainly not from a <laughs> arbitrary 22 <laughs> handicap. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> but I'm having a bandit. Handicap wise, 20. Say 22. 22. Yeah, what would improve yeah. your game then? What would you like? Just somewhere to home back into it with my irons. Yeah. Like, yeah. Straight up in the air. It's not a penetrating um, right. ball flight. So, I mean, it goes far, but any wind, game yeah. over. It just stalls. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's just climbing. Isn't yeah. It? It's high spin. Yeah. Like you say, without the wind. You're it's fine. Get, yeah, it's going to be over to 150, comfortably. Yeah. That was my, that's my bad job. What we're going to do, Charlie, is we're going to focus on the butt end of the club and we're going to swing it and we're going to make sure this is in front of the ball yeah. all the time. Right. Once when you're striking. So it's forward and it's as through impact, it's forward, forward, forward. It's going to point back at you, of course. Yeah. That's fine. fine. But the ball's already gone. Feel. Yeah. And now you've got the movement capability to adapt your release pattern. Before was, yeah. So when you go back now, you can actually swing back. Yeah. If you just swing back, just a little swing there. And you can you can let this butt end now, as yeah. we talked about, you can let that start to direct the that golf way. club, yeah, and then you've got the ability to rotate. Oh. So you've got the ability to let the wrist then release it. Yes. Just have a go there, just play a little sharp. Yeah. Good. Lead and rotate. That's better. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Brilliant. Sure. Yeah, well played. I know it's a lot of curve, but don't worry yeah. about that. That's good. So already with a three quarter swing, yeah. it's going as far as your full swing yeah. because the flight's different, cutting through the air. Instead of it shooting straight up. Mm. Look at that. That's fantastic actually. Yeah. yeah. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> it's good though. That's brilliant. Takes off all that air resistance, yeah. that drag. That's <laughs> <laughs> doing the same as I was before. Yeah. What you're finding out is is that as soon as you want to go for the speed, it interrupts. Your, yes, it interrupts because the way your body recognises the sequence for speed is it's different to the sequence you're using for that shot yeah. because to jump up in speed you've got to start using the ground and using the whole yeah. body so the sequence then starts to get a little it's, it's interfering with that yeah. release right so then the way that you're creating the force and the timing of it is it allowing you to deliver the golf club the way you just were that softer yeah. speed because you've got less influence over it yeah faster if you twist to the target keep twisting your body turn your chest look at that it's, it's right behind you, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and you can keep going and turning. Let this arm just, yeah. let, let, just soften this arm yeah. up so it comes across your chest. So just keep turning your chest into your arm. That's it. This yeah. could, and this could go as far right. Look how far that's pointing now. Right, this is. Oh. And your low point so far in front of the ball. Yeah. Because your low point's going to be below. Below this. So this is interesting because it's so much later. Yeah. You're using an earlier release to swear the face off. Yeah. I'm trying to interfere with it and I shouldn't. <laughs> but I know I am. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's have a go on the board. Yeah. And we're going to use the musher. Just support it. Yeah. And we're going to get a sense of the upper body rotation, lower body moving, the pelvis. Yeah. And this is rotating, but we're moving the body in space. It's rotating, we're just moving it in space. So we're not kind of having to do all this. We're just no. rotate it, bang and twist. And keep it there, that's it. So bang, twist, now hold it here. Yeah. So now you're banging the board, and then it's going to come, yeah. You're much, much earlier into your left side. Yeah. Which is where we need to be to be able to do this with the golf club. Right. If our pressure's still travelling back to this left side, it's not going to allow our body weight yeah. to stabilise, shift and stabilise in time, our bass should I say, to allow this chain to go later. It's all, it's all going at the same time. 
Now just step onto the carpet for me. Yeah. Just kick it as it kick it back and have a couple of swings. That feel a bit different. Yeah. Well again for me, before yeah. you even just change direction. So swing back and then there, that moment when you were just starting to change. Yeah. You'll feel it load the wrist. So if you just take your left hand off, in fact your hand will even start coming back as your club's still going. That's it. So your hand and your butt are still coming back down. Yeah. But the club's still going that way. It feels like you've got the golf club moving in two different directions. Yeah. You've got the butt end coming back. But the top end. But the top end's still going. Around. It's not really the butt end's still moving with the club, but it's, it's it's more your hands. So it goes really narrow, Charlie. Yeah. To then wide. Oh yeah, what yeah. Oh, no, see it? Yeah. That is a flight, isn't it? <laughs> it's like a three iron. Jesus, is that a seven iron? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Borrow your club. Yep. I'll just show you this exercise. We're going to tip it forward and swish it forward. Yep. And then swing it back. But before the club gets to the top, you're going to bang the board back. Uh-huh. And you're going to feel it load the shoulder, the wrist. Suddenly all this reacts. It's like all set up, so you could still keep going if you wanted and go vertical later, but look where the handle is. Very good. Awesome. It's like if you were doing a clean, yeah. something like that, or a kettlebell swing, or well, a snatch. Yeah. You drop into the floor, that's it. Your mass is dropping as fast as you can into the floor to stabilise. This, this prepares you, that's, yes, but it does that. As you shift it, right. That's it. Just let that arm travel in front. There we go. Look how narrow that is. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. If you love the coaching, but you're not able to get a lesson and want to experience the transformation for yourself, the closest thing you can do to get a lesson is by a Zen GRF Infinity training system and experience the same things that you're seeing my pupils go through in a lesson and a two hour download all the exercises that enable my pupils to tap into those forces and find their most natural efficient golf swing. Good and then you can let that go. Have a couple of shots playing around with that because that's the, that's the acid test. It's like this is the feedback now. Very good shot. Rocky, you've got high club head speed, you're still yeah. going to get spin, but yeah. it's like but it's not, is it's doing this, and then as the ball slows down, the spin rate takes over, exactly. and it's a little bit of lift, yeah. But it's actually doing it's still going like that, yeah. So it's not dropping that, yeah, like no. a stone. More of a walking action first, yeah. and use that action to rotate the hips. So it's like the feet go first, and the hips react. You feel that, yeah, and let your weight shift more with it. So let yourself. Use that foot action and the knees to drive that. So that you don't need the upper body to go with it. Right. So you can just be letting the lower body work. That's it on its own. Yes. Shot. What a golf shot. It is like you say. Oh, that's like a bullet for a second. <laughs> I don't know. Jesus. Just at the end. I don't see the, many seven ends like that. The, the fade is early and the the draw is, is, is a, well, it feels like it's a lot later, but it's not. Yeah. And that you'll actually start to play your fades this way too. Yeah. Because you'll get the same fly, but with the fade. Yeah. It's actually the fly. And I'm not thinking about where I'm swinging this. No. That's why I wanted to come out here because it changes things a little bit. Because yeah. you've got a bit more, you're reacting to real life feedback. Yeah. You're a lot more sensitive to what's going on now. Yeah. So we've amplified your awareness. That's an awesome golf shot. Feel different? Yep. Way different. The flight's good. Yeah, that's, that's the main thing, it's not rocketing up in the air. Look at that shot. So even though you've launched it higher, yeah. it's still going, isn't it? But it's still gone, yeah, it's not. Because you compressed the ball. Yeah. And you got the lower spin rate because you de-lofted it. <sighs> I, don't, we, I mean, we don't see better seven irons, do we? <laughs> George, Certainly not from a Arbitrary 22 <laughs> handicap, that's for sure. But I'm having a bandit wall of fame in my room, and I think I'm gonna have to put Everyone photos in with you bandit. guys, both of you, oh. to be honest. Six months in golf, seven hours <laughs> like that, Jesus. It feels good though, it feels like I'm. It, feel, it feels good. Yeah. I'm just trusting the shot. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I don't get it. Uh, I don't know, it's just a fucking stack, isn't it? Look at that flight. <laughs>
That is unreal. That is massive. Yeah. But it's controlled. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm swinging the socks off of it. And it feels easy, doesn't it? Yeah. Pretty. And controlled. Yeah. The, th the thing is, right, notice the difference bringing you on grass to being... So you could, be pra you could be staying on that driving range and working Hitting hard and grinding, yeah. grinding the mind and then you come out and look at the difference. There's a time for that and a time for this. 100%. Again, you need to play around with it. You might be shifting and spending too long on this and then it all comes back together again. Whereas it needs to go at... Yes. Yeah. Oh, what a oh, shot yeah, that is. You mean now? That's the best shot. Yeah. I mean, you've hit some absolute worldies, but that's... For me, with the pressure yeah. shift, that was the all synced and fluid, but efficient. It almost creates like a, you can feel the the, the club do that. The, the soon as you do that, it's like a lag and, it, and then it's back. There you go, that's the flail, it just reacts. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, you've, you've got a swing that's tailor-made for a, for a driver. Yeah. I mean that's a that's a rocket. Yeah. yeah. But you see that swing with your iron Don't work. is disaster. Yeah. But now you know the difference between the two. I mean that's that's mullet. It's just I don't know how it feels like I know what I'm doing with this. It's 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 yeah, strange. But with the irons, obviously I know now. Yeah. more. And this is I just find this an easier club to hit. I mean, you've got no, you've got no issues with. No, the no, no. I'm fine I mean, with. Anybody, everyone would kill for that drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I get called a bandit. It's not fair. There you go. Yeah. Now you've got the iron. Oh, oh, George's. Cheers, George. Now you've got the irons to go with well, it. With a bit of practice and refinement. Yeah. Uh, let's go do some.